Ice Cream is a women-led and women-owned brand. <laughs> Today, Mayor Breed announced an amazing new initiative. Yes. Yes, it is called Opportunities for All. Woo! Museum of Ice Cream not only stands behind you, but we also pledge to be able to bring new jobs to San Francisco yeah. through your new program. And today, Woo! yes. Woo! Today, more importantly, we stand together to go and scoop the vote. Yeah. Yeah. Scoop the vote. Scoop the vote. Scoop the vote. Scoop the vote. Thank you, Mary. And thank you so much to the Ice Cream Museum for opening your doors to make everyone happy with ice cream. Yeah. I mean, how can you not be excited and happy when you think about ice cream, right? That's why the lines are so long. I mean, this is one of the biggest attractions in San Francisco. Democratic Club for your work in collaborating with the Ice Cream Museum to draw attention to something that we all know is important, and that is voting. Because, let me tell you, the young people between the ages of 18 and 29 that are eligible to vote, half don't even register. And then what happens is the things that you care about the most aren't prioritized. You have to make sure that your voices are heard, and most people say, well, you know, my vo vote doesn't count, I'm only one person. As someone who's been in really close elections, trust me, every vote matters. Yeah. It matters. Yeah. Today, when I launched Opportunities for All, a new program in San Francisco, providing job opportunities for all high school students in San Francisco, I did it because if it weren't for an opportunity to work when I was a teenager, I don't know if I'd be here today. I grew up in poverty in San Francisco. I've lost friends and relatives to violence, to hopelessness, to drugs, to frustration. And I'm here as mayor of San Francisco because somebody gave me an opportunity. And so today is about opportunity to make sure that your voices are heard to make sure that you come together to elect the right people to public office, to make sure that you make the right decisions so we're prioritizing the things that matter to people. When we need to clean up our streets, when we need to address issues around homelessness, when we need to deal with our educational system, all of those things happen when you make decisions at the polls. So today is an opportunity to get people excited about voting. And, and I am excited about registering again so I can get some ice cream. So it is really an honor to be mayor of such an amazing city. I was born and raised here, and now I have an opportunity to have a hand in its future and its success. And the only way we as a city are going to be successful is if we invest in young people, if we invest in the future generations. And part of that investment means that we have to shine a light on our elections. We have to shine a light on what your rights are. You have to register and vote. No matter who you vote for, no matter what you vote for, just make sure that your voices are heard. That's the message of today. So thank you to the Ice Cream Museum. Thank you to the Edwin M. Lee Democratic Club. And I want to just basically ask you all to do one thing. And I don't think this is a hard thing to do. Election Day is on November 6th. I want to make sure that everyone here is registered to vote. But I want you to promise to register at least three of your friends. Just three. Just three of your friends. And just imagine with this group here, say if it's 100 people, 100 times another three people. That's 400. Well, 100 times three is 300. <laughs> but if you have three friends, that's 300 people plus you. That's three plus 100 is 400. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So let's get three of our friends registered to vote. Let's make sure that we keep this in mind year round. And as soon as we know someone who turns 18, let's make sure that they have a job and they have a voter registration card. Yeah. We can do it. Thank you all so much for being here. Yeah. Oh, and with that, I like to
to introduce someone who actually works in my office, but she happens to be the president of the Edwin M. Lee Democratic Club. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Selena Sun. Thank you so much, Mayor Breed, for being here today. It's an incredible honor to be standing next to you um, and hear such a, an inspiring speech. I mean, she's, I don't know how I can follow up with that um, with my paper. Anyways, um, so hello everyone. My name is Selena Sun. I'm the president of the uh, Edwin Emily Asian Pacific Democratic Club. And um, thank you so much to Mary Ellis and Manish and the Museum of Ice Cream for partnering with us here today. Um, we are proud to be here to encourage new and young voters to register today. Um, Mayor Lee was passionate about empowering youth to have a voice, to engage in their community, and of course to eat ice cream whenever possible. <laughs> um, he was a voice for our API community, and we continue his legacy today by encouraging everyone to use their voice and to vote. So thank you so much for having us here today, and I hope you guys will register before October 22nd. So, had Ed, Mayor Ed Lee in the sprinkle pool, and we expect you to have an amazing performance in the pool in a second. But we have employed 150 of our pink army over here. And the Museum of Ice Cream has seen a million visitors in this past year, and we are speaking to a generation of millennials, Gen Z, and you, the Pink Army, we are gonna work for the next five days to get everybody in San Francisco to register beyond those three friends. That is why we have opened the museum, the pine shop, the gift shop for the next four days, open to the public to register to vote. So we are encouraging every single person in San Francisco, if you don't know where to register, come here. We will make your day, give you ice cream, and get you to register to vote. And so with that, the Pink Army, can we get a little scoop the vote chant? Scoop the vote! Scoop the vote! Scoop the vote! Thank you guys. Thank you, Mayor Reed. Thank you, Edley Democratic Club. Thank you, Marianne. 